Hello my dear family members, for mind blowing response from your side, I can't stay still and live the day without any video. So as usual, I'm here today to share with you an advanced coding question which were asked on 2023 TCS NQT question. And the same concept questions are asked repeatedly. So we will focus on that questions today. Just let me inform you that those who have purchased the prime materials of TCS NQT, please keep checking the drive link I have shared and i am updating the link every day right okay so let me discuss the question so the question is each digit is considered to be unique so each occurrences of the same digit should be counted that is for n is equal to 111 one is divisor of 111 each time it occurs so the answer is 3 right and here is the function description that is complete the find digits function in the editor below it should return an integer representing the number of digits of a d that are divisors of d right find digits has the following parameters is uh, so n is an integer to analyze the right and here is the input format that is the first line is an integer t indicating the number of test cases and the t subsequent lines each contain an integer n right here is the sample input that is at first 2 is the number of test cases that means we will have to pass the test cases at first 2 2 times and the numbers are 12 and 1012 and output is 2 and 3 how I am explaining. So the integer is 12 and the digit at first is 1 so 1 uh, is the divisor of 12 so count is equal to 1 now and 2 is also divisors of 12 so count is now plus 1 again so count is become 2 right so output is at first 2 and then in this case so at first 1 is divisor of this and 1 but we will pass 0 right we will not check that and 1 is divisors of this digit I mean this number so we will count this as also plus 1 and 2 is also divisors of 1012 so we will count again plus 1 so that's why the count is equal to total plus 3 so output is 3 right okay let me take another example let's say 2 is the number of test cases and uh, let's say 1 5 and 3 and uh, let's say 2 0 4 so what should be the output output should be here 1 is the divisors of full number and uh, so count is equal to 1 now and 5 is not divisors of full uh, number but 3 is divisors of this number right so we will have to print 2 in this case and in this case 2 is divisors of what okay let me take it to 104 so 2 is divisors of this number right so we will count at first plus 1 and 1 is also divisors of full number so count is equal to again plus 1 and 4 is also divisors of full number right so we will have to print total 3 in this case right so I hope you understood what you have to do right so if you understood then please as usual I am I will ask you to solve the problem by yourself if not possible only then come to watch otherwise this will not be helpful to you right so let me solve the problem in python at first right but before I proceed to the solution, I would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding TCS NQT. And if you still have not purchased the materials of TCS NQT, please have it because I have included there all the prime uh, materials. I mean, uh, all the coding questions, all the previous questions, mock test, etc. Right? So it will be very much helpful to you to crack the exam. Okay, so let me solve the problem. But uh, let me at first discuss how to solve the problem. So let me let let's say the number is uh, 153, right? So how will you take the take one digit and how will you uh, divide the total number by the single digit? So this is a simple concept that is take the last digit and divide the last total number by the last digit and then uh, decrement the digit. If uh, I mean before that just check if the number is divisible by the last digit then uh, increment the count is equal to plus 1 if uh, the last digit is 0 then pass the loop I mean pass the control and if 
if if test cases passes then uh, just uh, reduce the number by one digit right and continue until or unless the number becomes zero right so i hope you understood a little and uh, maybe you are uh, still confused okay let me solve it then it will be more con uh, more clear right okay so at first let me declare okay declare the function they find digits okay so number n is the argument but before that let me uh, let me take the main function so t is equal to at first let me take the input for test cases so int input uh, number of test cases is equal to this right and we will have to run uh, the test cases i mean we ha will have to call the find digits number uh, find digit um, function t times right so let me take the number so for i in range t right okay now let's say n is equal to int input and result is equal to will sorry will store the values result is equal in the in the result variable right so result find digit n and we will print the result each time just as soon as the for loop ends right so what we have we are doing here will uh, in this function will return an integer and here what are we doing we are running the for loop for uh, t times and we'll, we are taking uh, the numbers uh, and we are just storing the the, the the value which is being returned by this function and just printing the result as soon as the function i mean the for loop ends right okay let me write the find digit function so at first uh, to store the last digit just one concept is enough that is run the uh, run the while loop until or unless in not equal to zero and just uh, understand this concept this is very much important for any type of questions i mean for checking palindrome for checking armstrong number or this uh, type of questions most of, um, count digits uh, and many type of problems are related to this right so let's give importance so let so in in uh, we'll run the while loop until or unless n not equal to zero so we'll now take the last digit uh, let's say a is equal to n mod 10 right so we are taking the last digit of the number and now we are uh, we will now have to check if the last digit is equal to 0 then we will pass I mean we will continue right we can pass also and else else what what we do we will now uh, check if the if the number is divisible by the last digit if yes then we will increment the count so at first we have to initialize a variable c is equal to 0 to increment or to increment the count right okay so we will check if n mod 2 uh, as we are uh, incorporating the incorporating the values of n so let me just uh, take uh, the values of n into m then we will incorporate the values of m then uh, there will be no value changes in the n right so we will now check if m mod a is equal to is equal to 0 that means it is divisible by a i mean the last digit then increment the count by 1 and if not that means else else just pass right okay and after the uh, if and else just in reduce the the number of digits from the number right so how will you do that just n is equal to n sorry by 10 right so this way we'll reduce the digits one digits from the n i mean from the number right so i hope this will give proper output let me just return the count 
return sorry uh, return the count and will be okay i think so let me call the function so at first the number of test cases is equal to 2 and 12 and 1012 so output should be 2 and 3 as it is right okay now uh, let me check the second input sample input that is let's say the number of test cases are 2 and uh, 153 is the first number and 2104 is the second number so output is as expected right so i hope uh, there is no mistake in the code so if you have a uh, more productive i mean more good code then you can suggest me and you can give me your code so that i can also learn from your code as, as well right so i hope this much of video is also helpful to you if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding tcs and qt and if you want more such content then please share this channel with your friends so that they can also take help and i can be motivated right and before i end the session i would again request you please have the materials which i have uh, prepared with my heart right this will be very much helpful because i have experienced a lot right so and uh, the rest of the willings to you up to you right so thank you for today's session